Yes, hi, this is Azad Ahmed. And uh, the most of my students, they have asked about this question that which course is suitable for working in the banking sector in Canada? So the answer to that is there's not one course, but there's two courses which will help you to register as a mutual fund rep in the bank. In order to give advice to clients on the types of account to open and also the investment advice in order to be licensed to give advice on mutual funds. There are two courses in Canada which you can do. Um, so I'm going to cover both of them. I'm not advising on any one of them particularly. It's just a general information for your um, awareness. So the first one is the Canadian Investment Funds course also known as the CIFC. It is through IFSE Institute, IFSE. And so as you can see, the enrollment for this, the course price is $385. If you get membership, then it's $285. So there's also additional cost for, if you want web trainer, you want the printed book, um, you want the CY Learning is the company that they are linked with for the notes. If you want the notes and the book, then the um, learning review and practice uh, notes, those are $99 extra. The study guide is $70 extra. So these are if you want extra. Otherwise, if you just um, pay that, you will get online access, right? Um, so that is, um, so those are the, that is one option which you can do. Um, and the the course information is simply that what you will learn and you need to study for it. 60 to 90 hours are recommending. So that depends on how much time can you um, invest into it. Once you do enroll, you have one year to complete the exam. And it is a hundred questions exam. You have three hours to complete the exam. And so um, it is anyone who wants to become a mutual fund rep or wants to learn about mutual funds. So that is a good idea to undertake it. What will you study in it? You will study the regulatory environment, registrant responsibility, suitability, how to advise the suitable products, ec economic factors, what affects interest rates and other factors affect and how do they affect the investments different types of investments, including, so it is a general, this is more general about all the different types of investments because somebody may bring in a, um, a statement of stocks or bonds or other products. So you need to know about that. And then the rest is mainly about mutual funds. What are the different types of mutual funds, portfolio management, mutual fund company structure, then retirement planning for the client. They should put money into, for example, our SP, and also other taxation aspects, and then making the right advice. So this is here, and you need to get 60% to pass. So you have three hours, 100 questions. It's all multiple choice. And the good news is you can take the test online. It could be in person or online. Um, through Pearson, you can have a computer-based test, which is proctored. So that is one. Um, option you have. The second is the CSI, Canadian Securities Institute. They have the IFC. So the other one was CIFIC, this is Canadian. The other one was the CIFC, right? CIFC, Canadian Investment Funds course. This is the IFC Investment Funds in Canada. They both are equivalent. Whether you do one or the other, you get the same um, level and you are same um, opportunity. So this year is curriculum, very similar, financial markets, your role as a mutual fund sales rep, importance of know your client, client focused reform, and how to analyze investments, how to manage portfolios, different types of mutual funds, exchanges, clearing houses, and mutual fund structure and fee structure. So this again, um, the chapters are here. You can see uh, more detail about what are the topics that you would study here um, in this course. So there are 18 chapters in this course, and you can see the detail here about what you will study.
And for this one, the um, there are study tools and other. So you, the fee, for the study tools for this effect check are the questions um, set. So that is $150. Then there's a calculator. You can also do the exam without the financial calculator. If you want to use a simple one, you can. Um, but still, there are some questions in it, the ratios and future value, present value, which you can do easier on the financial calculator. And then there are also e-tutorials. So these are extra add-ons if you want to um, undertake it. But otherwise, again, study 90 to 140 hours, they're saying, right? And so these are the topics you will cover. Um, so if you want to enroll in this course, then it is $715 for the value pack. If you want just the online interactive um, version with a hard copy textbook, it is 520. And if you want online with just PDF textbooks, so that is comparable to the other um, one for IFIC one. So that is $385. Here it is 470. So either way it's, um, and if you're working, um, in a bank, they give you a discount if you're working as a teller, but otherwise, um, yes. And it is an investment into your future, very honestly. Um, if you think about it, you could get a job in the bank for $50,000 annual gross before taxes and deductions. So it really $500 up to $1,000, even time, effort, money. It's not a big investment if you look at the overall return, right? you will be making about $1,000 a week. So in one week, your investment would be covered once you get a job. So these are it's a good idea to invest your time and effort into one of these exams if you want to work in the bank as a mutual fund rep, advising clients on investments. And of course, as a financial advisor, you can also you will also be doing credit for the client, mortgages, line of credit, credit cards, and you will be opening up accounts for them also and giving them other advice for their retirement and other benefits. So it's uh, if you're planning on coming to Canada, you do not have to have any experience. You do not have to have any degree. There's no requirement at all for enrollment. So you can take advantage of this and enter into the banking sector in Canada. Good luck and wish you best of luck.